Nothing wrong, huh? No. Just works. Hey YouTube, welcome to part two of this video. Uh, it's a stole practice video. If you didn't see part one, click the little box up here and it will go to the uh, the first part of this video. This is the second part. It was a little long, so I just split it up in two videos. But in this video, uh, you're going to see me head over to the airport and uh, lay out some cones so I can measure my takeoff and landings uh, with and without the vortex generators, which did make a big difference as you're about to see. It was shot over a couple days, so you'll notice uh, it's two different days. Um, Right, one day is the first day you see me fly off from the first video and then a little bit of footage from another day where I had a little more practice and was over there doing the same thing. So I figured I'd throw that in too. So enjoy and uh, I'll come back at the end of the video and we'll talk about it. Check this out, YouTube. If you can see this down here, I made my own little trim lever. I 3D printed it. And look at this, it's working really good. Let's see. Put her about level and cruise. Hey, it's not diving towards the ground. Has a little tendency to roll to the left. Yeah, I've got a trim tab on there. I'm fixing it with rudder right now. So that's pretty good, that's hands off flight. Well that's what happens if I take my trim, uh, if I take my trim tension off. I'm gonna put it all the way loose. Now watch, watch what happens when I uh, level it back off here. Now watch what happens when I let go. Drops the nose pretty quick. So it works perfect. All right, so we're here. There is the airport. So my brother is down here at the end of this runway where I like to practice. So I'm just going to do some pattern work. We're going to lay out some cones and see how short I can take off and land. All right, so I'm going to aim for the second cones, not the first set of cones, the second set of cones. Uh, a little, a little short before it. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here today. <laughs> so we just set up uh, cones. I did 10 foot spacing. We got two, I think, 210 foot measured out or 10 foot increments. So what I'm going to do is see how long it takes me to take off and see how long I can, or short I can land and without landing before the cones is a goal. So at the cones or beyond and then stop as soon as I can and then I'll take off at that same line of four cones there and then we'll be able to measure roughly how fast I'm getting up without the VGs installed yet. Well, get more practice in at least, but I still feel like I'm not used to where this thing breaks. 
and ground effect it's just a lot different than the Firefly. But, I don't know. 120 footers feel like garbage landings. <laughs> How's it feel? Is it flying good? Yeah, it's flying good. I'm seeing really good climb rates. It's running perfect as usual. It's just, uh, I don't know. This feels more like an airplane compared to Firefly. It's a lot more weight. Got to kind of toss it around a little bit. The Firefly is just effortless to toss around, so this is a little more work, but uh, yeah. I like it. I want the VGs though, and I want to see the difference. I got the cones laid out. Let me get started here. I'm going to show you real quick what I did here. I put 12 cones out 10 foot apart. So each cone is 10 foot. And there's 12 of them, so it's 120 foot I laid out, which maybe that's optimistic, maybe it's not. So, this is the line where these cones are on that big cone, and then 10 foot every cone after. So let's see what we can do. <clears throat> and I go over to this side, so a little closer to them. Okay, wheels on the line, and as I take off, I'll try to kind of turn my head a little bit so we can try to gauge, um, you know, where I'm taking off. I'm, I'm by myself right today, so I don't have an outside view, so we'll do the best we can. All right, attempt number one. It's like a rocket. So, that was okay. I need to balance my tires. Um, I'm guessing that was probably right at the last cone, so 120 foot for takeoff. You know, there's zero wind. It's about 85 degrees. So it's pretty respectable. I'm happy with that. I think I was doing close to that before the VGs, so maybe I can be a little more aggressive on the rotation. But where I think I'm really going to feel a difference is the landing. Now I tighten my brakes up a little bit, and with the VGs on this thing, I can really drag in the tail. Where before, it didn't want to do that. It just wanted to fall out of the sky. As soon as I started the flare, it just kind of plopped on the ground. I wasn't really a fan of that. Now it actually feels like it has ground effect stuff going on. So we'll... Not these first ones, the second cone. That's the don't land before line. Ah, terrible. <laughs> We're gonna call that 115 feet. And I floated bad past the line. I think we can cut that way down. Not bad for the first one though. Okay, let's do it again. Oh yeah. Okay, attempt number two. First one was okay, but I definitely floated it. With the VGs, this thing floats twice as far as it did before. Okay, so let's see what I can do this time. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
Ooh, that was a good one. Full brakes, tailwheels floating. Um, well, it looks like 100 foot on the dot. Not bad. I think we can do better than that, because I did it better than one of that when I first landed here off camera. <laughs> I was like, that was probably the best one. I wasn't recording. But I didn't have the cones out either, so. We, we got time for a couple more. Get a little closer to the cones. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Woo! We're doing it before 100 foot. For sure. Well, let's baby down a little bit more. I'm just easing up to where, you know, you don't want to just go crazy, so every time I'm pushing it a little bit more, a little bit more, just to be safe. Do a little bit wider pattern this time, too. Get a little more stabilized. All right. I want 80 foot. Hard on the brakes, don't float. That's okay. Ooh, let's see. That's 10 foot, 20 foot, so <laughs> not 80 foot. I would say that was 95 foot. I braked so hard I kind of veered off, but that was okay, I was in control. All right, ready? I was under 100 foot for sure. The tail wheel was still on the ground, but the mains were up. I felt the tail wheel on the ground for a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the good one. I can feel it. Okay, slow it down. Oh yeah, that's it boys, that's it, Woo, almost tipped it over, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So, pretty cool stuff, this thing is definitely very stole capable now with this engine and the tires and the landing gear extension and the vortex generators and all the little things that have added up to make this thing really good for stole, uh, ended up right now with about an 80 foot landing was my best and takeoffs are under 100 foot now that's with no wind that's about 80 85 degrees and uh you know grass runway obviously so it's pretty good i'm pretty happy with that it's i mean i have the the firefly the ultralight version of a kolb and it's you know the numbers are like double that so this thing is a lot bigger, heavier, but all that power just makes it work. Now, if this thing had flaps, which it does not, man, it would really, really make it competitive in like stole competitions and stuff. Um, there could be a way for me to add flaps. Uh, the Firefly has flap arons where this does not. So maybe something to think about in the future. But I mean, how much shorter do you need to land? You know, unless you're going around these competitions or something, 80 foot. You pretty much can land wherever you need to land. Hope you enjoyed the footage. I hope you guys can subscribe. Uh, like 80% of you that watch aren't subscribed, so hit the subscribe button and you can see me fly some more in the future. See ya.